this is external glass and now we want to create a droplets each separately so you can use um, spheres and add some deformers like bulge, bulge or tapper okay i think bulge is better now okay um, put it on sub one sphere and increase the height and strength of the bulge and move it to side little bit so you can create the different types of droplets okay like this Okay, create another sphere and we are making different types ropes and now we are using tapper. Okay. Fit it to parent, increase the strength. different types of drops now turn off um, deform is in under in viewport okay, we want only show drops because okay now create a cloner and put it on put it sub on cloner and change the cloner mode to object and object as our glass define so you can see the drops cloning upon the object so we want look like we don't want to look like this so change the cloner distribution to surface okay then add other drops to cloner then increase the count We, uh, we want it look like um, realism add a random effector and we don't want randomizing uh, in position like x And random is in scaling different types, different scaling of different types of drop and random is 
you can enter uh, an object and a glass material and water material we now create droplets with the basic tools the snake cloner and sphere and deformers Now we are create droplets using X particle. So create a glass model and X particle with them and add a base structure in X particle object. So you can see lot of X particle systems, X particle modifiers, elliptics, groups, generators. Okay. So we want to um, create droplets like animator so this is emitters you can create particles emitting from and modifiers you can use gravity some like something like gravity and attractors okay so, so first we go to emitters let me show how it's working in this. Let's hide the glass in emitters. Okay. This is our emitter. The basic default emitter is rectangle. If you play this apply press the play button, you can see the rectangle emitting particles. So we don't want emitting particles from rectangles. We want to part emit particles from, from our body. So change the mode to object and Define our glass object in X particle emitters, and also we want um, okay. Now our glass emitting particles. So you can, I think you can see the particle. Let me show type in glass particle. This one. Okay, you can now see the particle. So, this is a grow glow. The particle emitting inside to glass. So, we don't want emitting particle from inside. So, we want using selection mode. So, select the glass type, the outside of glass, uh, or which part you want to create uh, emit particle. So, select that part and it's Set the selection. Okay, now go to emitter and define the set selection to emitter selection. Okay, now okay, our problem is solved. Now only emitting particle to outside. Now emit from polygon area and we click here is one okay now we don't want emitting in all frame just emit one frame so it's a lot of material emission model first of all a pulse it's emitting in um, it's like pulse in interval interval okay emitting stop emitting stop okay next the rate is we want using rate mode and we don't want emitting all frame just emitting one frame so set the start from zero and end frame one okay it's only emitting in one frame okay this the next form is um, emitting one frame but it's going to outside so we stop our speed of particles so set the speed to zero hmm. okay our 
particles basically okay now we want add in this particle to mesh it's this particle okay we want to add mesh around the particle so go to system and generate objects add a skinner so you can use you can see from gen under the generator so there and you can control to increase the particles amount and change the word weight to uh, the word weight it's too much so I'm adding um, so we, we don't want like this much better drop this so go to skinner and increase decrease the polygon size okay yeah, there is the polygon size in and render polygon size so make the same numbers and custom radius change to 5 so 2 1 we want to increase the polygon size yeah, I think what is better good so our basics X particle uh, I think still particles is okay now we want to create something um, in animate particles so just copy the emitter and change the uh, you can rename this particle name to down and above particle name to still I think it's better to understand and go to emitter and decrease the word rate so we don't want so many particles animated only few particles You know if I you can see two particles once you already created still particles to add the two skin the down particle I mean animated particle you can see the green dots Okay, the green color is our. Uh, we want to animate a particle. So, go to modify and you can use so many modifiers like gravity attractor and now we are using force fly we want to um, particle like follow in one following spline and you want to define a spline so we don't want any spline in here so we create a spline from this glass model you can create spline from this glass model go to edge mode and select all edges okay. I think we 
Outside of collect the all edges of outside and press the shift C and it it is flying. Now you can see uh, under the glass model glass flying. If you hide the glass mesh. You can see the glass fine. So this is the method to create edge spine from a model. So we don't want to see this in our viewport. So hide it in render and viewport and go to swallow spine and depend on our glass spine. And we don't want to um, in follow spine in all particles only down particles okay now we create a, a group on particles so you can see some group menu and define this the same name to down and for put a follow spine modifier and group affected So only affected down particles to follow spine. And you can you can see okay. There is a particle direction. Change it to y minus axis so oh, this is our animated particles this is not animated go to emission tab and increase the speed of our particles So you can see it's animated to downside. to okay in the polygon direction so y minus y okay mm, it's okay for now and go to skinner and define our down particle to skinner source now you can see both particles in here one particle is still and another particle is animated Okay. 
Let me show how it work. Uh, we add both particles and I mean still and down particle to one skinner so it's like this like um, metabot in our C4D show how it's work uh, we created two spheres and add it to metabo you can see just a mini decrease the subdivision if you animated one sphere This is the basics of mm, our X particle animated properly. So you can use so many mm, deformers to to become realism. So go to modifier and add gravity and only affected to down particle so group affected define and if you play this oh there's a problem it's come to particles come to our outside uh, sorry inside so add a glass uh, add a collision tag to glass and our floor and change the bounds to zero I think gravity strength is too much high so just to decrease the strength of gravity So our particle is okay. Now we want to create a glass material, sorry, water material to our droplets. So create a new material and turn off the color channel and add transparency and increase the refraction amount around 1.4 and just delete the basic reflection specular and add a new batman so we don't add any frontal okay now add to our skinner if you render it if you render it you can see our animated particle look like Much realism.
ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ಅವರ್ ರೀಲ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ನಾವು ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೋರ್ ರಿಯಲಿಸಮ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಓಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆ್ಯನಿಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಡ್ರೋಪ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್